Oh, what's going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be kind of a technical video. I have seen a few comments on some of my recent Daisy Vanilla Mod videos, and some people out there have an issue with joining the vanilla servers. So today what I'm going to do is basically show you guys what you need to be doing. So obviously the first step you want to do is make sure that you own both Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, which I'm going to assume that most of you already do. So let's go ahead and open up Steam. If you've not done this already, just go ahead and type in DayZ. The first option you get is the standalone. The second option should be Arma 2 DayZ mod. You're just going to want to make sure that you go ahead and download this. And then when you come into your library of games, you should see it right there. And then all you need to do is launch game. And then once we are actually in the game itself, I will show you what to do after that. Okay, so here we are at the main menu now. All you're gonna wanna do is click on multiplayer. A couple servers are gonna pop up at first. Um, if you do not see the server on the server list that you're trying to join, no, do not click on filter. We're gonna go ahead and click on remote. And right there you see a uh, address and port uh, area to put the uh, IP address and port number and there's UK 420. Uh, now very quickly I do want to mention that I did have an issue trying to find UK 420 at first until I put in the port and IP number. If you don't know how to find that information you can either find it on the DAISY launcher or you can just google the server name and then type in game tracker right after that. Uh, nine times out of ten you'll, you'll get some kind of information back about like the server statistics and all that kind of good shit. You're definitely going to get the uh, IP number or IP address and port number. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on OK and we are going to join the server. Wait for host. And there we are. We are in the server now. OK, so we're going to go ahead and click on OK just to go ahead and make sure everything is OK. And we do actually get into the server. Now, I do want to quickly mention that there were uh, or that there was someone on a couple videos ago um, asking about how to fix some kind of issue that they were having. They couldn't get into a server. I think it said uh, waiting for character to create or something like that. Um, there are some things that I do know how to solve when it comes to Arma 2 because I've dealt with it for a while, and then there are some things that I do not know how to solve. Uh, nine times out of ten, my solution to problems is just to go ahead and start off easy by uninstalling everything. That means all the games, all the mods, and everything like that, and go ahead and doing a fresh install. Um, most of the time that works, here you go, we're, we're in the server right now, but most of the time that works... Um, but I do want to also mention that there has been a few times where I've had to reinstall Windows completely in order to get the game to work. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and comment down below. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section and either I or another viewer may be able to help you out. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one.